Making sentences using like or likes. Put like after the subject. If the subject is first person, I, oi, second person, you, and the plural subjects such as they, students, people, Ali and Ahmed, etc. Put likes after the subject. If it is third person singular and number, just like he, she, it, or any single person or animal, or a thing, such as Ali, a student, a book, a cat, etc. Here is a structure and it will explain you how to make sentences using like or likes. We can see here that it is the subject who, it can be a name of a person, or it can be a animal or a thing. It can be first person like I, oi, can be second person, you, or third person plural number just like they, students, people, and Ali and Ahmed, etc. Any singular subject like he, she, it, all these are subjects. Then after we have to put according to the subject like, if it is first person like this, second person like this, or first person, third person, plural number like this, then we have to use like. If it is, the subject is, a singular third person, like he, she, or any single name, or a single person, animal, or a thing, we have to use after the subject likes. Then we put additional information for what, where, or anything else. Then we have to end the sentence with a full stop. Here are some examples and you can see according to the structure. Here is he, the subject. As it is a third person singular number subject, so we are going to put likes. He likes ice cream. I like coffee. Here the subject is first person singular number I and the verb is like the base form of like without s, e, s, i, e, s or double s. Then I like what and this is the answer I like coffee. The cat likes milk. Here is the subject a singular third person and it is an animal. So we have to choose likes after the subject like the cat. The cat likes milk. Using verb plus ing after like or likes. Add ing to the verb if it is followed by like or likes. This structure shows how to write a sentence using verb plus ing and like or likes. Here it is a subject who, then we have to put like or likes according to the subject. If it is third person singular number, then we are going to use likes. Other than this, we are going to put like for other subjects. Then we have to put the verb and this verb should be ing. And these are additional information we can put. That means what, what you like, how you like to do the work or where or what time. Here is the example. He likes playing football. The subject here, he, and it takes the verb likes in the present tense. And then after, the verb should be with ing, playing. And what does he like playing? This is the answer for what he likes playing football. Example number two. She likes driving slowly. The subject here is third person singular number and the verb with s likes. Then after the second verb should be with ing. Drive is the main verb here, drive, but when we add ing, we drop the ending e and add ing. This e is dropped and we add ing. And how does she like driving? She likes driving slowly. The third example. I like swimming in the sea. Here the subject is I, the first person. And definitely the subject requires a verb without S or ES in the present tense form. And then after the verb is swim, but it should be swimming. Why do I like to swim? This is the answer for it in the sea. We have to add here that the main verb is swim, the base form of the verb, but when we add ing, the verb gets a consonant doubled, swimming. I like swimming in the sea. The fourth example, we like watching movies. Here the subject we and this subject requires a verb 
the base form of the verb in the present tense. We like, and after the verb is watch, then it should be with ing. We like watching, and what do we like? Then this is the answer: movies. We like watching movies. The last example: Ali likes walking in the evening. Here, Ali is the third person singular number, and it's a single name, Ali. So it requires a verb in the base form of the verb addition of s. Ali likes, and then the verb walk should be with ing. According to our rule, add ing to the verb if it is followed by like or likes. So here. We can see Ali likes walking, and in the evening it mentions about the time when. When does Ali like walking? The answer is Ali likes walking in the evening. Making negative sentence using do not or does not. Put do not in front of the base form of the verb if the subject is or are first person. Such as I, we, second person, you, and the plural subjects such as they, students, people, and also there are compound subjects like Ali and Ahmed, etc. Put does not in front of the base form of the verb if the subject is third person singular number, and we have to take care of this. The subjects can be singular he, she, it, or any single person, such as Ali, a student, a book, or any animal like a dog, a cat. Many things can be singular subject like this. This structure shows how to make negative sentences using do not or does not. We make negative sentences in the present tense using do not or does not. The first example shows that he works in the police, and the verb here work with addition of s, and it is a present tense form. So when we make the negative sentence, we have to put does not and main verb with the base form. He does not work. We just drop s when we make it in the negative. He does not work in the police. The second sentence: I live in Abha, and as it is in the present tense, and the subject is first person, so we are going to use do not in front of the base form of the verb live. So the negative sentence: I do not live in Abha. The third sentence: We study English at school. Here again, the subject is first person, we, and the base form of the verb in the present tense, study. So we are going to make negative using do not in front of the base form of the verb, and it is just like we do not study English at school. This is a negative sentence. Activity five: Make negative sentences with do not or does not with the words given in the brackets. Number one. I play tennis and football. So there is a word in the bracket that is a squash. We have to make negative with this word using do not or does not according to the subject. So if we have to make negative, we have to look at the subject first. Then we have to look at the verb. Is it in the present tense or in the past tense? Here the subject is I. And the verb is play in the present tense form. It is the base form of the verb. So we are going to make it negative using do not. And the sentence should be like this: I don't play squash. We have used do not here as the subject is I, and we have used this word in the sentence: I don't play squash. But we have to clarify this one. What does it mean by don't? It means the contraction of do. Not when we write the same word in contraction, then we can write it just like "don't." Sentence number two: We study English every day, and there is a word in the bracket French. We have to use this word to make the sentence negative. So first we look at the subject; it is "oui." So when we want to make negative using The first person, second person, or third person plural number. We don't have to be very much careful. We just use do not. We don't study French every day. This is the contraction of do not, don't study French every day. We use the word here French. The third sentence: He lives in Jeddah, and there is a word Taif in the bracket. 
So as it is the subject third person singular number, we have to be very careful when we are going to make it negative. Such as here, we use doesn't in front of the main verb and this verb is in the base form. So there is a difference between the main verb here and the main verb here. Here was addition of an s but here only the base form of the verb. There is nothing except the base form. Just leave. He doesn't live in Taif.